Hey team, thanks for coming to take a look at another video here with me, your boy Fidrid. Check it out. So, we're in the new map. We're in the Valergio. Valergio? Valergio? I don't know how you say it, but we're in the new map, boys. And uh, we're going to go ahead and show you guys the top five build locations, just like we've done for all the other maps. And uh, we're just going to jump straight into it. So, this is going to be mostly for PvP situations. That's what I'm thinking here. Unfortunately, you know, I'm not going to look at PvP or PvE. I'm not going to look at uh, some of the fancier, prettier spots to build. I'm going to look for the best build spots for you to build. Uh, maybe a little bit hidden. Maybe depending on resources. We'll kind of run through each spot and we're going to do a top five. So, I've kind of scoured the map. Obviously, this is a, an early release. This is based off of the very first day in the first couple of hours. So there might be a couple of spots and we'll probably do another updated video later down the road. But as of day one, this is what we found for you. Let's jump straight into it with uh, number five. All right, guys. So found my first base location recommendation for you guys. We're sitting at about 35, 37. This is pretty close to the center of the map here. You're just outside of, uh, you're well, not just outside. You're pretty much literally directly in between all three of the obelisks. So that's kind of a nice perk. I've seen a lot of yellow drops, red drops coming down in that general vicinity. Purple drop right there, two yellow drops right over there. You have a lot of drops coming down. Now, the reason I would recommend this spot first off is because it is a cliff based location or a plateau, similar to the ones you actually see on Ragnarok. So it's going to be very difficult for anyone to actually get up here to you guys. There's not really a, there's not a path or anything like that. This is all just a plateau. It even has like lower level plateaus that will make it a little bit easier. You can put, you can kind of build out and scale down, I guess, when you're actually putting your turret towers up, you're looking for room for your breeders, those kind of things. As you can see, you also have a lot of metal. You have a lot of metal, a lot of obsidian, a decent amount of stone, decent amount of uh, wood. You're not missing out on literally any single resource here. There's actually a, an oil node up here as well that you can put a an oil pump on. I believe it's right. Yep, here you go. You can put your oil pump right here and you also have crystal right there. So there's also a massive amount of metal right there on that little mountain and a decent amount on that mountain right there. So you're looking at quite a bit of materials. You're looking at a pretty safe base location. You're looking at a good little sized plateau. Should be pretty easy for a medium, I would say a medium sized drive. You could probably do this on, uh, if you're on a boosted rate three man or you know six mans, anything like that should be able to easily defend this. Pretty good sized base. And I think that's gonna be our first base for our base location recommendation. It's a pretty good little spot here. So check this one out. Uh, again, we're sitting about 35, 38 here on the map. All right, guys, and another base location. Here we go. So here's the castle. We're not gonna build in the castle. We're gonna build underneath the castle. So at about 40, 40, 90, give or take, um, straight down here, uh, there's actually a little cave entrance. So not a big enough cave entrance to get water, uh, any, any sort of water raft or anything like that. So it actually is still defendable. The cave itself on the inside is pretty massive. You're not gonna have a ton of resources in here. You have a little bit of metal, but uh, that's not gonna matter as much. You're looking more for uh, an actual nice defendable base location. You do have a couple of uh, bigger metal nodes in here too. So it's not a bad spot really. Um, nothing deep. You're not gonna be able to breed any sort of water dinos, nothing like that in here, but you do have a lot of space. Um, you do have two entrances here, so that can be a good or a bad thing depending on how big or how hidden you're trying to be. One of the entrances I just showed you, the second entrance is here at about 38, well, 39, 89 basically. It's just this little ruins here. Um, they are kind of big, so you're not going to be able to walk like a rock golem through there. You will be able to fit probably a gas bag or some trikes or something like that through there. So it's a little bit harder to defend on this one if you have the turrets, if you have the people to be able to farm it out. I would still say it's pretty good, especially because you can put the turrets up on these little cliffs, for example, on this one, which makes it harder for them to actually rocket run them. They will have to probably drain those. Up here, on the other hand, it's going to be a little bit more difficult because you don't have a lot of space. Um, I would recommend like a cliff platform or something like that, probably off onto the side just to help defend it a little bit but um yeah not about the base location really i mean we've got uh, a couple of good ones in here and uh we'll jump to the next one right now all right and on to base location number three so we're sitting at about uh 9180 we're in the little white rocks area i'm not sure what it's called yet but uh we're sitting in the white rocks area we've got this big pillar that sits right here so the really nice thing about it is you actually have a good amount of space up here to be honest with you you could probably put I don't know, I'm going to estimate we have, what, five down right now? I'm going to guess someplace between a 10 by 15, maybe a 15 by 15 up on top of that rock. Then you have a little bit of space down here. Never, never pillar. Please don't pillar base because it's so bad. But uh, anyway, so this obviously is a really, really good spot in terms of people having to be able to raid you. It's going to be very difficult. There's not really any other location or space around you that they're really going to be able to snipe you really easily at all. 
and uh, that should make this pretty good. You have plenty of expansion room. <laughs> Obviously, you're probably not going to want to expand down there, to be honest with you, but you have plenty of expansion room up on top here. You should have more than enough room to store dinos with cryopods, whatever you need to do. And then the big thing is, I will say one con that I will say right off the bat is I don't see a whole lot of wood. This wood area is not going to be the greatest, but the metal, boys and girls, is huge. So if you come down here, look at this. So you can kind of already see it. Look at all of these metal nodes down in this little crevice here. This is going to be a monster metal farm zone. And there is just so much. This is like, so there's not very much of like a cluster of things. If you go to the swamp, you're going to get a lot of wood, obviously. There's a couple areas for a decent amount of stone. This is the most metal that I've seen on the map by far. There's a couple other good spots in this white uh, rock area that has a good amount of metal. But that metal spawn or that metal farm down there is massive, dudes. And it's literally right here. It's just down the, the cliff here from the space location. This is going to be, pro this might even be my number one recommendation for the thing. For now, it's going to be th uh, spot number three because I'm probably going to look at some caves and things like that here in a minute. But this is a really, really good base location. You also have those new dinos. I don't know how good they're going to be yet, but you do have a couple of those new dinos. There's actually a nest or two actually in the little metal spawn there. But this is a great base location. Highly recommended. So far, this is my favorite base location um, that I've seen so far. And uh, let's take a look at the next one. All right, guys. Here's base location number two, I guess, technically. Four. I don't know, however you want to look at it, this is going to be the fourth, this is going to be the fourth position um, that I'm going to recommend. So check this out, we're at about 89, eh, pretty close to, there you go, 49, 20, give or take. Um, let me fly up a little bit just so you guys can see. Um, we're right here on the edge of the tundra area, um, pretty close to the water. Now, check this out. So if you actually come down, this is a very hidden location. Like unless you're actually looking, it's pretty hard to find it. Um, but check this out, this is right here. So you have kind of like a little crawl section which makes it really, really nice to actually defend. And then this is it, this is the entirety of the cave. So it's decent sized, it gives you enough room to breed and things. It's a little uh, little dramatic in here. It's got a lot of oil seeping down and clearly you have a ton of oil actually in the cave. You actually have an oil node as well where you can put an oil pump right there. So it kind of makes it really, really nice. Um, as far as like defending, it's gonna be super easy to defend. I mean, the cave entrance is tiny. They're not gonna get anything in here. If you have some um, turrets up right in just this, this general area if you make it sure that they can't get a rock on through here or you know something where they can actually throw it in you should be completely fine once you have tech turrets this area is going to be super easy to defend so this is a uh, another one of those really really good base locations um, I would say this is probably one of the better ones if you're looking just for a really really good defendable spot so check this out um, and let's get on to the next one so this is probably the best base location that I've seen so far um, it's pretty actually insane the amount of water that's down here and uh, I think that you'll probably be able to defend it pretty well. The issue is that there is a water entrance so you're going to have to be careful on how you defend it but if you can get it defended this thing is insane. So first entrance right here is going to be about 6473. Um, if you come down you can see the entrance right here. So. It's just um, right here next to the white rock area and uh, between the white rocks and the green obby. The entrance is right here. It gets a little laggy, obviously. But once you come down here, I'm just going to kind of speed through it. The area is huge. There might even be a third entrance, to be honest with you, because once you actually come in here, I haven't been around the entire thing yet. I'm in speed mode right now. Let's see if I can go to speed mode 10 but as you can see, there's leads down here, there's ickies down here, there's there's actually two so's down here, there is um, a bezel buffalo, not bezel buffaloes, whatever those things are called back there, the basils that you need the blubber from for boss fights. Um, everything is down here and in massive, massive quantity, um, not massive quantity, sorry, but the area itself is a massive quantity is what I was trying to say. So um, as you can see, I still haven't even come back around yet. There's another entrance that actually takes you to the base location that I want to show you, which uh, since we are going so slow, actually, you know what, this might be it right here. This is it right here. So this is it. This is the actual um, cave entrance base spot, whatever you want to call it, that uh, is really, really good. There's two little water entrances once you're actually in the cave here. Are we in? We're in. Okay, let's actually get up top here and fix the daylight for you guys. All right, easy. Okay, so check this out. This is one of those entrances. Comes out right here, 3208. Um, There's tons of crystal in here. So even if you don't necessarily want to um, use it for a base location, the resources in here are pretty good. There's a lot of metal, a ton of crystal. So there actually might be, let's speed this. 
there's probably going to be about four or five entrances. Oh, okay, this might just be the actual entrance right here. So there's one entrance here. There's three waterfalls. The actual entrance to, to the uh, caves via this way is about 3409. As you can see, there's one entrance per each one of the waterfalls here. Um, so it's going to make it a little bit more challenging to defend that part. But you set something up right here. No way they're coming in. Not that way anyway. Here's another water entrance that takes you right back down into that same little area. But yeah, look how big this is, guys. This base location is epic. It's so, so good. So um, I would definitely make sure you guys check this one out. And uh, <laughs> there you go. This is going to be a really, really good base location. I don't know that there's going to be a better one than this. Um, but I'm sure as the map kind of progresses and goes out a little bit more, I'm sure we'll find some more. And I'll make sure you guys are updated on those. But if you guys like the video, make sure you hit that like button. If you guys want to see more, hit the subscribe button. We are doing a series over on MTS3, man. Um, make sure you guys check out those videos. If this is a little bit later, eh, whatever. We might be doing something else at this point. So check out the channel, guys. Thanks so much for watching and uh, see you guys next time.